So let's go ahead and time this out for the rest of the evening into tonight. There is that risk for showers or thunderstorms to continue to build into the area, any of which can produce brief heavy rainfall as well as gusty wind. These will be very isolated at first, and then this line will try to push on through later this evening into tonight. Now that chance of a shower or storm will stick around for us overnight into first thing tomorrow morning. Once we get past the early morning, our risk of showers will finally wrap up. We'll get into cooler temperatures as the day goes on. In fact, the clouds should start breaking up too as we go into the afternoon. And at the same time, the humidity starts dropping. And that means a really nice Saturday afternoon and evening expected if you do have plans tomorrow or tomorrow evening into the overnight. Quiet weather expected. Temperatures cooling back into the 60s. And Sunday, it looks uh, very nice as well. Uh, skies become mostly sunny through the afternoon. Temperatures uh, get back into the 80s on into Sunday afternoon. And the humidity stays low. Too. So that's good news for your Sunday heading into your 4th of July. We get a little hotter and the humidity starts to sneak back up, but the dry conditions look like they're going to continue. So watching for those showers and thunderstorms this evening into tonight, still the chance of a stronger storm until the storm system clears overnight into the morning. Tomorrow's high temperature uh, back to 83 degrees. That chance of a shower first thing in the morning then decreasing clouds and lower humidity. Mid 80s on Sunday, mostly sunny. A few clouds on Monday, but sunshine too. And warming up into the upper 80s, going to be hot for your 4th of July, as you would expect. And that chance of a shower or storm will sneak back in here later Monday night. And that risk will stick around through the middle of next week with warm, humid temperatures each day.